Hello, my friends, Dr. Ken Berry here. You know I'm always talking about hyperinsulinemia, and I'm gonna show you visual proof today that if your insulin levels are too high, too concentrated for too long, it absolutely makes your body store extra fat. There's a couple of people out there online saying that insulin does not do this, it is not a fat storage hormone. The truth of the matter is, is that insulin does hundreds of things in the human body, probably a few of which we haven't even discovered yet. But one of the things that it is known to do that doctors have known about for over a hundred years is that if the insulin concentration is too high in a tissue for too long, it will cause the deposition and hypertrophy of fat in that tissue. Now, I'm going to give you an example and I'm going to show you some pictures of this. They're a little bit graphic, so uh, if you're squeamish, you may want to go past the pictures part. But this is called insulin induced lipohypertrophy. In people who have to inject insulin because they have diabetes, either type 1 diabetes and then justifiably they have to inject insulin or type 2 diabetes and they've been misinformed by their doctor that they need to inject insulin. They are instructed very carefully to rotate the injection site, to not give the insulin at the same place every single time. And I'm going to show you some pictures of why doctors recommend that people who inject insulin rotate the injection site because if you don't, you will get insulin-induced lipohypertrophy. Lipo meaning fat, hypertrophy meaning abnormal growth. Now, here's the first picture, and you can see the, the areas highlighted with arrows. That's just a deposition of fat, okay? In the next picture, this person was in, instructed to inject the insulin in the fat on their uh, anterior thigh, and you can see on each thigh, even though they rotated from left to right and back and forth, they still have insulin-induced lipohypertrophy, overgrowth of fat cells, because the insulin concentration was so high in the area that they injected. Now, the next picture, this, this is very clear. This person just injected their insulin at two different sites, one on each side of the lower abdomen. And this is actually part of a case report that I'm going to link to in the show notes. And the a surgeon actually excised these two things. So if there's any doubt about what this is, they excised it and sent it, sent it to the pathology lab. And it was pure fat. Here's a picture of the, the gross examination of this fatty uh, polyp under the skin that was directly caused by very high levels of insulin in that tissue from injecting the insulin there each and every day, probably multiple times a day. And this, these were so bad that the person had to have plastic surgery and have them removed. And when the pathologist sent the report back, it's like, yeah, these are, these are made of pure fat. And then finally, here's a gentleman who just injected below his navel. Uh, he did not rotate his sights and he has very clear lipohypertrophy. So how does this apply to you? This applies to you because if you're, if you're injecting insulin, please rotate your injection sites so that you don't get insulin-induced lipohypertrophy. But even if you're not injecting insulin, if you are eating a diet that is high enough in carbohydrates that it's causing a blood sugar spike, then that's causing an insulin spike as well. And if you're eating enough high-carb meals and snacks each day to keep your insulin chronically high, then this lipohypertrophy, this overgrowth of fatty tissue, is going to happen all over your body. Now, it, your genetics matter a little bit in this. It's much harder in some genetic populations to make them store fat. Other genetic populations, like me, store fat very, very easily. And so hyperinsulinemia is something that absolutely needs to be on your radar if you're trying to lose weight, if you're overweight, if you have obesity or severe obesity. One of the most likely culprits in the, in the majority of cases of obesity are caused by chronic, inappropriate hyperinsulinemia by eating a diet, both meals and snacks that are too high in carbohydrates. This keeps your glucose high, and that keeps your insulin chronically too high. 
and it leads to lipohypertrophy, as the pictures in this video have shown you. Now, I included a link to all of the research. It's down in the show notes if you want to read more about this. Uh, you've got to get your fasting insulin checked. And if it's above 10, then you are hyperinsulinemic and you are at much greater risk of inappropriately storing fat on places of your body that you don't want fat, but also causing hypertrophy or swelling of each individual adipocyte or fat cell. You don't want that. You want to have a little fat on your body, but you don't want to have too much. It is absolutely a proven risk factor for heart attack and many other pathological conditions that can happen to human beings, including you. So check your fasting insulin and eat a diet that's low enough in carbohydrates that keeps your fasting insulin at or under 10. You'll thank me for this. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.